वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर आई शेल प्रूव तुरान थ्योरम व्हिच इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट थ्योरम ऑफ ग्राफ थ्योरी तुरान थ्योरम स्टेट्स दैट लेट जी बी अ ग्राफ विद एन वर्टिसेस एंड के आर प्लस वन फ्री क्लिक्स देन टोटल नंबर ऑफ एजेस इन जी आर लेस देन आर इक्वल टू आर माइनस वन अपॉन आर इन टू एन स्क्वेयर बाई टू इफ वी हैव अ ग्राफ ऑफ ऑर्डर एन and this graph is k r plus 1 free click what do you mean by um, by a click click is a complete subgraph of order r if g is k r plus 1 free click means g does not contain any subgraph of order any complete subgraph of order r plus 1 if this is true then total number of edges in g is less than r equal to r minus 1 upon uh, r into n square by 2 basically toran theorem is an upper bound on number of edges it gives us a relation for upper upper bound on number of edges in a graph we prove this result by induction method that is we prove this result this theorem by induction method induction method here we will use induction method in slightly and different way first we will assume that the result is true for and less than n vertices and then we will prove that result is true for n vertices for less than n we will assume the result is true and for n vertices we will prove this result let toran theorem is true toran theorem is true for less than n vertices for less than n vertices toran theorem is true now we also assume as in the statement it is given that g does not contain a complete subgraph of order r plus 1 but g may contain a complete subgraph of order r so we assume a complete subgraph of order r let g contain let g contain a complete subgraph a complete subgraph complete subgraph r click we can also write it as a click kr now let us visualize this g contain a click kr kr is a complete subgraph of order r so we have a complete subgraph of order r total number of edges in g are not known so we have a complete subgraph in a complete subgraph all the edges are all the vertices are connected so let us assume we have a click kr now this is our set a now we choose one another set which is set b set b first we try to note number of element in b as there are total number of n vertices in this graph so first graph a a complete subgraph kr contains r vertices 
so we left with total number of n minus r vertices so in second set b the order of second set b is equal to n minus r total number of vertices and set b are n minus r so we have n minus r vertices in second set now we have to find total number of edges so total number of edges are the number of edges in set a plus number of edges in set b and number of edges from set a to set b so we have first set a set b and now we have to find the number of edges from set a to set b by adding all these edges edges from a to a edges from a to b and edges from b to b we get total number of edges in graph now i write this explanation here that total number of edges in graph g is equal to number of edges number of edges from set a to a plus number of edges number of edges from b to b uh, sorry a to b number of edges from a to b plus number of edges number of edges from b to b b to b by adding all these edges we get total number of edges in the graph what are the number of edges in first set which is a as <coughs> k r is a complete subgraph and we know the formula for number of edges for a complete graph as there are total number of r vertices so total number of edges are r into r minus 1 by 2 these are total number of edges in graph graph a now what are total number of edges from a to b as there are total number of n minus r vertices in b so total number as this is a complete subgraph total number of edges from a to b are number of edges in set b which is n minus r n2 n2 r minus 1 as there are total r vertices in this set so total number of edges will be r minus 1 n2 number of edges in the second set which is n minus r now we find total number of edges from b to b as order of b is n minus r there are n minus r edges in set b as we have assumed that and the result is true turan theorem is true for less than n vertices so here we have n minus r less than n vertices so for n minus uh, for less than n vertices this relation holds so i just write this relation here but we will use n minus r instead of n so from here we i write total number of edges from b to b are less than or equal to r minus 1 upon r and to n minus r whole square by 2 so i got this relation from the statement of this theorem take here we choose n minus r vertices now now total number of edges 
and this graph are actually less than or equal to this relation. Now I simplify this. If I take r minus 1 as common, we are left with first term r by 2. For second term we have n minus r and for third term we have n minus r whole square upon 2r. This is equal to r minus 1. This is our n r by 2 minus r is minus r by 2. I open this square n square plus r square minus 2 n r upon 2 r. This is equal to r minus 1 n minus r by 2 n square by 2r plus n square by 2r plus r square by 2r is r r by 2 sorry r square by 2r is r by 2 minus 2nr by 2r is minus n minus n plus n cancels out minus r by 2 plus r by 2 also cancels out and we are left with r minus 1 and to n square by 2 r if I rearrange this I can write it as r minus 1 upon r into n square by 2. So this is our uh, required result r minus 1 upon r n square by 2. So we have proved that total number of edges and graph are less than or equal to r minus 1 upon r into n square by 2. This less than or equal to sign comes from this. So we have proved that if we have a graph of order n and g does not contain a kr plus 1 free clique then total number of edges on a graph are r minus 1 less than or equal to r minus 1 upon r n square by 2. Thank you very much for watching this video lecture.